If you ever stayed up late, flipped on the TV, engorged in junk food? Well, Statistic Brain claims that 33% of the world is starving and that 11% of U.S. households are in need of food. This goes to show that starvation and hunger are not just a problem around the world, but also in the United States as well, close to where we live. Fortunately, after committing hours of volunteer work and studying the Convoy of Hope, I'm here to give you well-rounded information about them. First, we're going to go over an overview of how they got started and what they do. And second of all, we're going to go more on what they do and how they help people. They began in 1994 by a man named Hal Donaldson. And the Convoy of Hope declares in our article title, Our History, that it began with one mission, to feed the world. Now, Hal Donaldson is a man that, uh, as a kid, is very sad. His father was killed by a drunk driver, and the Donaldson family and him were both in emotional and financial distress. But churches and other organizations helped them a lot, and that inspired Hal Donaldson to help other people and start this organization. He wanted to be efficient, so he combined a church with government to create an efficient system to help people better. <coughs> and Charity Navigator states in an article that 90% of money goes to them goes directly to help people out, which is a very good number. And according to or Vesic, Ivana Vesic, a journalist, reports that the convoy started out evangelistic, but over time became more focused about um, helping people directly with food and not so much um, teaching the Bible and gospel. And now let's go over how the, con how the convoy of help people. Convoy of Hope helps people. They do this in three different ways. One, children's feeding initiatives. Two, community outreaches. And three, disaster response. Let's go. Let's start with. Is that, let's start. I'm sorry. Let's try to start with um, children's feeding initiatives. They help over 120,000 children in the world in a year in seven different nations. They provide drinking water. Most importantly, they um, teach the kids and their families how to farm, and so that the kids can actually help support themselves and their families later on so they can be more self-sufficient. And then community outreach, this focuses more on helping Americans out and helping people at home. And what they do is they donate groceries, and they have 50 of these per year. And what they actually do that's even better than just groceries is they actually have employers go to these meetings so they can help these people and actually give give them jobs so they can support their families too, which is a really nice. And finally, there's disaster response. And this helps people, obviously, are victims of natural disasters. And it helps them get back on their feet. And they focus on being a first responder organization, meaning that as soon as a disaster happens, they're there to help and try to create more survivors. And they're not like, they wouldn't so much help people now that are victims of Hurricane Katrina because that happened so many years ago. They would more help people that are victims of something that happened like right then so they can help people, more people survive. This is their specialization. And if you volunteer to work at the Convoy of Hope, then this is probably what you're going to help. And Nancy Weisswinger, a volunteer, states in a 2013 interview that she bagged potatoes and sorted clothes to help people, as long as giving counseling. In conclusion, the Convoy of, Hope is a great, Convoy of Hope is a great way to help people, and they do a great job of what they do. It started by a man who turned tragedy into tra prosperity. It was started in 1994, and they do three things to help people. They do children feeding initiatives, community outreach, and disaster response. Also, it's a first responder organization. So, if you ever sit up late at night eating junk food, watching TV, we've all been there, but fortunately, places like the Convoy of Hope can help people. And also, it helps us realize that food is not just entertainment, it's a way of survival. Thank you.